What's good my loves? Welcome or welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I do have a lot to say, okay? We are gonna be chopping it up and having a conversation around not allowing fear to dictate our lives anymore and living with integrity. When I think about the last two to three years of my journey, I spent so much time allowing fear to dictate the choices that I made. The choices that you made directly affect how you view yourself the insecure version of me is the one that always chooses to back down always in my head thinking that i'm not enough or that i'm not capable or that i can't do something the confident version of me is the one that does shit anyway some of these small trivial things that i've been afraid of i've had to do just being a young adult those moments where i was pushed to do something i was scared of those shape me and the only reason that we feel so inferior and so weak sometimes is because you don't know. So to build the confidence in that is to collect evidence that you're capable and you're worthy. You do this by actually doing the shit and then you realize it wasn't really nothing to be afraid of. Allow your love and passion for your goals to be the push. I push myself just to be of service, to be 100 the past couple months. I feel like I betrayed myself. I feel like I abandoned myself and I left my damn self. I was having shame for all of the things that I actually love about myself, but society tells you these things are wrong. And I just realized that society gonna tell you anything like everybody always has some type of judgment or criticism so it doesn't matter how i am somebody gonna have some shit to talk right you can't please everybody so why not just please yourself i just went on this emotional <laughs> fucking roller coaster of who am i supposed to be i'm sitting here trying to hide myself like my real self and trying to put myself on a back burner make society okay with me but i'm really just in my head y'all i'm really just in my head i would use the excuse that i was dimming myself dimming my light shrinking myself to make others more comfortable around me but i realized i even shrink myself when nobody's around i hide myself i postpone myself i know who i am and i know what i'm supposed to be doing but i'm stalling it because of the fact that I'm uncomfortable with being me. I'm trying to keep myself suppressed, which made me lose myself. Like I'm people pleasing and jumping out of my body so much and, you know, attuning to others' emotions and making sure everything's okay. So much to the point where I feel like I'm losing myself. I'm forgetting who I am, forgetting what I value, right? Um, Not honoring my boundaries and my values my standards you know the world will try to tell you that everything is wrong with you you know i'm having shame for it i was having shame for being classy i was having shame for being an introvert i'm trying to change it right so i'm trying to change my personality like oh no yeah yeah i'm fun you know i'm having shame for being what they what they would say uptight but there's a difference between being uptight and having self-respect I'm going to be honest, sometimes I was, sometimes I was a little bit uptight, but it ain't nothing wrong with valuing yourself and taking your life and yourself seriously. Now, it gets uptight when you take it to the motherfucking extreme. You know, it gets uptight when you can't have fun and you can't laugh. And I'm going to be honest, in my past few videos, it's, I was really, I was uptight. Like I couldn't relax. I was nervous. It wasn't really natural because I was in my head. I was trying to change myself in the silliest, kind of most immature ways for no reason until I realized that there's more than enough space for me. The version of myself that my ego thinks is not allowed to exist because it seems like too much. That version of me, for one, already exists. For two, 
is more than safe to exist, especially in the spaces where there's enough space for me. It's a lot of dope ass people out here. It's a lot of people who are different, you know, or artistic or they just look unconventional to people. And that is the fucking beauty of humanity. Why would we all be the same? Why would we all like the same things? We all have unique gifts, talents, and passions that make us who we are. So why not express yourself in the most raw form, the most authentic form? Because who gives a fuck? When I hide myself like that so much, now I'm now I'm betraying myself. For one, because you're letting your values slip away. I am now choosing to ground myself in integrity. I am grown and I don't care who has a problem with my personality. My personality is beautiful. We're all beautiful. If you can't handle me, close your eyes, change the channel. You know, I don't understand people that are so mad and so hateful, but they will sit there and watch everything that you do. Now we all, all of our vibrations fluctuate. I've been in such low vibrations to the point where I did feel jealousy. Yes, I have felt jealousy before. I might feel it again in the future when I'm not taking action towards that shit, when I'm giving up on myself. When people have let themselves go, the only thing that they know how to do is talk stuff. That's the only thing that they feel like they have the power to do. And it's actually sad and I've I've been there. So that's why I try not to judge and I try to release judgments because we are all reflections. We all be doing the same shit. But at the end of the day, if somebody is making the choice to not want to do something with themselves, they're going to project that outside of themselves. They're going to make you the problem if they don't know how to take accountability. So let's let's bring it back to me and talk about taking that accountability, because like I said, I would make the claim that I'm trying to make other people feel more comfortable in my presence and da 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 no babe you feel uncomfortable with your real self you afraid of your real self i am very intelligent i can read people very well i'm very observant and i forgot all of these things because i left my damn self and it ain't nothing wrong with being introverted it ain't nothing wrong with being a dreamer it ain't nothing wrong with with none of that so I'm taking accountability for being myself, but also um, getting off my ass, you know, rebuilding my self-trust by um, keeping my promises to myself and standing on who I am. But I am choosing love. I'm not about to sit here and waste my life and waste my gift of life being ungrateful for it. I'm not about to sit here and focus on the negative things about life and sit here and complain and whine about everything. I'm a problem solver. The only time I ever whine is if I'm feeling like a bee. I'm feeling like a bitch. Like I'm too scared to do something about it. Too scared to solve the problem. People try me not that much, but enough to the point where it brought back out my kind of dark side. You know, bring up, bring back out my dark energy, my mean or cold side right because going on this spiritual journey and opening up my heart chakra like really made me I feel a little bit overly positive and having too much empathy for people and too much empathy for myself and feeling too damn sorry for myself yeah we have all been through things right if you allow it to make you fail and just sit on your ass then that's your choice that you made as an adult. We all have the choice. You can allow your pain and your trauma to be the reason why you fail or you can allow it to be the reason why you succeed. So I'm not about to sit here and have too much and, you know, feel too sorry for myself and self-loathe. I'm not about to sit here and make excuses, you know, for others. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I love who I am, really. I, I do. If anybody got a problem with it, take it up with God. I would advise 
you know, looking within because that's what I do when I be feeling shit like that. I will literally pause a video and ask myself, what is making me feel this way? Why did I, why am I feeling these feelings right now? And it literally all comes down to the fact that I am feeling insecure and I'm comparing myself. We got to stop comparing ourselves. Your life ain't got nothing to do with the next person's life. The only thing that you can do is be the best you and do it the best that you can. Live your life truly, authentically, and do what the fuck you love. If I got to go through life, you telling me I got a life? And be a people pleaser and try to make... Nah, nah, get out of, get out of here. That's doing too much. If I'm a life then I'm a life authentically. Thank you all so much for tuning in to another video. This one was a little bit like, I don't know. I don't always have something insightful to say. I am a really encouraging person though, but I don't always have advice to give. But once I do, I will, you know? So the thing that did help me to shift my mindset and shift from fear having me in a full Nelson to choosing love was mirror work. It had been a long time since I looked in the mirror, y'all. My mental health be real, real bad. You know, when I wasn't posting on YouTube these past, that past 11 months, I didn't even go to my YouTube. I couldn't even look at my YouTube channel. My mental health be bad. And so for the past few months, I wasn't really looking in the mirror for a long time. I couldn't even look at myself. <laughs> it's crazy. It's fucked up. But I looked at myself, you know, a couple weeks ago, whatever, a couple days ago, probably. And I just started talking. I was like, man, I'm proud of you. Look, you know, look, you did everything that you said you was going to do and more. So and you really just getting started. I'm so proud of you. I'm talking myself up. Right. And then and then I kind of side eyed myself because I remember who I was. I remember that I am smart. I am intelligent. I, I'm a problem solver. I'm all these, I remember who I was. And so I got upset. Yo, I literally got upset when myself got mad. Like, yo, why is you acting slow? And why are you disrespecting me? I had, it was really just this open dialogue with self. So what helped me to shift back, you know, into that mindset was creating space for myself to be honest. I was, I pissed myself off. And so, you know, I'm having full blown conversation with myself. I'm like, why are you disrespecting me? Don't ever da da da. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Literally, literally, how can I make it up to you? How can I, how can I earn your trust back again? Do what you say. Do what you say you're going to do. And choose your feelings. Don't jump out of your body to prioritize another motherfucker's emotions. No, you are beautiful. You are you and you get to decide and dictate the choices that you make for your life. Nobody has to live your life. You are the only one that's in your body. So if you don't want a job, you don't got to take that job. You don't want um, people, certain people around you. You don't have to allow that into your life. Sometimes we do got to roll up our sleeves, you know, and do what we got to do to survive but i'm talking about if you know something does not add to your life then why are you indulging in it to make other people okay with you no i don't care no more news motherfucking flash i have no more fucks to give my fucks have been discontinued